Okay, so I'm just supposed to do the commercial. All right, take one. <clears throat> hey, you guys. Do you have trouble sleeping at night? Do you have AIDS? CADES, maybe? Cancer with, with AIDS? Do you ever have trouble sleeping at night? Wait, I already said that. Shit. Okay. Do you ever have to cry while masturbating? Well, introducing Mega, Mega Roid Rage Mountain Pepsi. Yo, cure everything. And it's tasty, too. That's the stuff. Oh. Supposed to like it. Okay. Come on, take two. And it's tasty, too. Ah. I know, I know. Take three. And it's tasty, too. Good enough. For those of you who got the I Love Lucy reference, you are awesome. So, what I was thinking about talking about today is whether or not we could bring back classic comedy. You know, just to give you a little bit of a background, uh, as a kid, I would uh, watch this certain comedy skit, which was my, which at the time was like my favorite comedy sketch of all time, and I always found it really funny. It was by a little duo you may know called Abbott and Costello, and it was a sketch called uh, Who's On First? And then through later on in my school years, uh, I would watch clips of a show that, again, you may or may not know, called I Love Lucy. And as I'm watching the clips of this show, people would ask me, well, why are you watching that? And I'd be, because it's funny. So, my question is, like, can we bring oh, classic comedy back? Because when you look at comedy nowadays, you have Adam Sandler movies and Uncle Grandpa. I give up. I give up. Okay, I'm not done yet. No jump cuts. I don't, I don't know why. No jump cuts. Um... But we might be able to if we just try. Because if you think about it, it wasn't that long ago. And um, what, really what means I Love Lucy was really funny was, I don't know, it was less of just fart jokes and shit jokes, which I don't mind toilet humor. It's just, you know, some of the older stuff can be funnier. And... Some of the jokes we have these days are like cum jokes, dick jokes, which are funny, but just not as much. And if you're like me, you can tend to get into a bit of dark humor sometimes if you're tired enough. By the way, guys, yeah, I did the New Mountain Dew. I. I I drink the new Mountain Dew, uh, USA, for the sake of that sketch that I just did for the I Love Lucy, Lucy reference. Um, I feel like comedy nowadays has kind of gotten downhill, not just from the I Love Lucy era, but from in general, like even from the 90s and early 2000s, our comedy has gone downhill quite a bit. And hell, even in the 90s, we had shows like Full House. You are just Full House. Anyways. So, comedy has gone downhill nowadays. And it's just not as funny anymore. In fact, a lot of the stuff we have nowadays is just, they just suck at comedy. Like the Grown Ups 2 movie. Grown Ups 2 was a disaster. I, they did not get one laugh out of me. Not one. Throughout that entire movie. And it was the same with Pixels. I know that those are all Adam Sandler movies and such, and 
there's more comedies out there nowadays. But you get the point, right? And I guess the answer to can we bring back classic comedy is yes, because, well, I, comedy is bigger on the internet now than ever before. With the internet and YouTube, there's like plenty of opportunities to tell new jokes, old jokes, all kinds of jokes. And bring back an older style or give, give a newer style or somewhere in between, you know, just have your own style of comedy and you can express that th through the internet, via the internet. I wouldn't count it up on it being on TV though, or movies. Like I said, Teen Titans Go, Amazing World of Gumball, Uncle Grandpa, Am Sandler movies. Fuller House, TBS, Modern Family Guy, all of these and more are just not, not quite as funny as they could have been if they were if there were more effort put into them. But there's always hope, isn't there? I gotta meet Hope soon too. Um, oh, see you guys later.